What's up everybody? Today I am going to do my very first live stream video. Yes, I'm so excited to do this and to celebrate my very first live stream video. I went to the Apple Store and picked up a couple goodies here. And if you follow me on Google Plus, be sure to do that by searching Mark Paris. You can circle me and get all the notification and everything. Um, if you would have um, been following me, you know that I was going to do this. And so for those of you that are watching, you can look at the title or you can just wait and be surprised. So first, in my bag of goodies, well, actually it's the only thing that's going to be my bag of goodies, but it's going to be my very first Mac. Yes, this is my very first Mac that I've ever had. I've never owned a Mac before, so I'm really excited to open this and use it. I've used Macs before, but this is my very first one that I own. And I picked up a few accessories here. I got um, a G Drive 500 gigabytes external hard drive. And so um, I want to slow that down because that was a lot of money. And I'm going to get my get money for my speed. So um, get speed for my money. So this is the external hard drive. I'll be unboxing this very shortly. So um, be be sure to stay tuned to my channel to watch this unboxing. And if you haven't already done so, I'm going to be um check out my iPad 3 unboxing. It should be up soon. So I'll also be unboxing this. Yeah, so I have the iPad 2. Now I'll have the 3. But back to what you came for, the MacBook Air. So I'm so excited to get into this. This is my very first Mac, as you probably know. So, as you know, the wedge shape is the signature symbol thing of the MacBook Air. The Pro has a block shape. It says MacBook Air right here. And, let's see, we have some specs right here. I got. I decided to pick up the 13-inch model because the so I think this is 11 inch, that was just way too small. I got the 256 gigabyte one, even though um, I will have my external hard drive. I still want some memory on that because I'm just going to probably put like my iTunes and everything on this one and just put the rest of the stuff on that. So, <clears throat> you have the Apple logo. I am doing another Apple logo. So, and, um, fun fact for you, this is actually one of my first plastic wrapped unboxings because my iPhone 4, we had to set it up at, um, Verizon, so that's really no plastic on that. The iPhone 4S, same thing. My iPad 2, I didn't unbox it on camera before I got into this. And my iPad 3, they set it up for me, so still no plastic wrap, but... We forced the guy just to give us the box. We gave him the money and left. So, my first plastic unboxing. So, let me get scissors. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully, I don't cut myself for the Mac or the box. I keep the boxes. So, you know, so don't come asking for them. I keep them. So. Good. You can see it. I know you want to watch me get cut. That's the one thing I don't like about the live streams, is that you have to sit, watch me do all the hard work. There you go. See? It's nice. Okay. Oh, ripping the plastic. That's okay. So, you ready? I'm excited. Are you excited? Look at that. Woohoo! Blackout. Okay, so it's really soft. Use this pillow. It's really soft foam. Protect that beauty right there. It's nice and soft. Some felt. I like that. Same thing on the iPad. They had the same material kind of. So, there is the Mac. Oh, I'm so excited. Get into this. You have a pull tab. And, oh, I know. Shouldn't look at it. I'll get to that in a little bit. I know, we have to get through the paperwork. Designed by Apple in California. Assembled in China. 
I learned that before. It doesn't say it on here. Let's see? It doesn't say snow in China. And we have our documentation right here. You have your folder. And it says, hello, welcome to the Mac. Quick start guide, kind of like fingertips. So, we just says hello. And this kind of gives you a rundown of the specs and what it, it does and everything. has everything here. It shows you what's in the box, how to set it up. Multi-touch. This is what I like. OS X Mountain Lion. It's coming with that built in. And it's going to have um, it built in. So, um, I'm excited. I've used the OS X Mountain Lion before at, Ad at Apple. And it's um, really nice. I like it a lot. And then it's just giving you some apps that are built in. Let's see, we got um, Launchpad, mis Mission Control, Safari, Mail, iTunes, Calendar, Messages, so we can, so I can do um, iMessage to my iPhone, um, iPhoto, iMovie, so I can edit my videos right on here, and App Store. And it also has more than just that. So that's that. Next is the MacBook Air. It's the user manual. No, no one reads. I've read it, so. Um, yeah, I know. I know my stuff. I read it. Yeah, even though I know a lot. There's your Apple stickers. They're actually some pretty big ones here. So there we go. And let's see. Let's put all this back. I know. Taking forever. Is, isn't this what live streams are supposed to be about? Aren't they supposed to take a long time? So, yeah. here we go. Just put that back. And the power. You have your Apple power block. So, I was wondering if this, because this one has the extender cable, where you pop this off, and I was wondering if that would work on the iPad, because I don't know. We'll see. I'll try that for you. Okay. Here's your sleeve for that. And there's nothing in here. That's it. At least got a tray. And you've got the extension cable. I'll show you how that works real soon. You've got the power block and your mag safe on here. Let me just pull this off right there. And so here is that. MagSafe 2 connector that you got. And so I know Apple's made um, some adjustments to, um, to the MagSafe from the MagSafe 1. So um, MagSafe 1 was the L shaped one. And they've made an adapter. So if you get the newer um, MacBook version, they have an adapter where it plugs in to your Mac with the MagSafe 2, but you can plug in your MagSafe 1 with that. So that's nice. I, it's my first Mac, so I don't have a MagSafe one that I'd want to use with it. So um, I, I didn't get that accessory. And um, there's an LED indicator on both sides, but you know, red or green. And um, it's reversible also, just like the iPhone 5. And here is the extension cable right here. So one of the things that I noticed right here is that... Um, the block it has the two prongs, and the extender cable it has the three. And that's just something to keep in mind. I thought that was nice. And as hold on, let me open this. Yeah, it's my first Mac, so I don't really know how to open this power block. Um, I'm almost there. Yeah, rip it. There we go. So as you know, with any Mac, you get these flip-up prongs where you can wrap your cable around. So, you have your thing flip up. And, um, like I said, for this right here, you can pop this off right there. So you can pop on your international cable, or you can slide in. Oh, you don't see it? There. Or you can slide into the extension cable, and you have the extension. And um, the thing that I liked, oh man, this is hard. can't get it off now. Oh, there we go. Ouch. Okay. So the thing that what was I saying? Um. Oh. 
Yeah, well, the thing I like about this, yeah, that's what I'm going to say, the thing about that I like about the 13-inch Mac from the um, 11-inch is that it has a two-hour bad, better battery life to it, so that's nice. Okay, get all of this off to the side because we don't care about this. Oh, we do. This is what makes your Mac live. Okay, next is what you came for. The MacBook Air. Ta-da! See, it's a messy unboxing here. You just can't see because I pushed it all off to the side. See, only the best for you. So, you have the Mac sitting in all of its glory in the plastic. So, notice from Apple. Important. Please read the software license agreements. We don't care. Okay, so, ready? Broke the seal right there. Just like the iPad, it's wrapped in its plastic. And move this plastic off to the side. You can stare at the Mac while I clean up here. So, here is the Mac itself. So, as you can see, this is incredibly thin. It's got its four legs on here. And um, this one's configurable to 500 gigabytes. Um, so... But, um, since I have my external hard drive right here, I really didn't need that much. I could have got the one size bigger. I think that's 128. But I wanted a bigger Mac here. But, so, um, so that's why I got this, because I wouldn't have to worry about the hard drive, even though I got one. So, it has just, you have your screws right here. The Apple logo. And you can see it has the venting system right here. It's a black strip. You have the MagSafe 2 port, um, USB 2 and 3 headphones, and you've got one Thunderbolt. I don't use Thunderbolt, so I don't really care. USB 2 and 3 again, and a SD card slot. So, let's open this baby, and let's see what's inside. So, as you can see, you have pretty much the same stuff that you would see in any other Mac. You have the plastic stuck on the screen. Let's put that off to the side. And there you go. You have that giant LCD display, 13 inch. You have your FaceTime camera. And you have your normal keys that you would see on a Mac. And you have your touch panel. And let's just go over a couple of the keys real quick. You have your screen brightness. Um, all your web pages are open, your um, apps are running, you have your backlit keyboard, um, reway, rewind, pause, play, fast forward, mute, volume down, volume up, and the power switch. So I am looking forward to using this and getting into it. And thanks for watching my very first live stream unboxing. And be sure to check out the review, the iPad 3 unboxing, and my... Um, so, my external hard drive. Thanks for watching.